welcome to this video against Hutakami. Hutakami. <laughs> okay. No name. <laughs> yeah, it's um FM Japanese flag. Yeah. Now even the well knowns I like to recheck. Sometimes there are those flags that just look like one but uh, are somewhat different. Okay, if we got a one uh, Knight Air 3 G3 setup. This here with Rook E1 and E4 is a pretty solid line that um, I play from time to time. Yeah, it normally it is it is obviously nothing that um, will uh, kill black outright, but it is quite nice to play. White will play queen b3, knight e5, or knight d2, c4. You have some some little pressure based on the bishop on g2, simply because black has a hard time to not ever play c5 or e5, this kind of moves. e5 is very difficult to play. Or, well, or you have to force it through. Maybe now if he goes e5, but I have bishop g5, and it's also not, not that great. Yeah, so very often you get a position like that where white has like the two bishops and he can basically shuffle around forever and um, try for a little advantage. Let's see. Yeah, okay. He's really opening it up. Oh, interesting. I didn't expect that move. Okay, d5 probably. Yeah, that's, that's a bit more interesting than taking. Taking is very stale. To c2 or to c4. If I go to c4, b5. I don't have any great squares, so I better go back. This also has some additional ideas. If he takes on d5, which I don't know, probably he will do. Bishop d5, I have ideas like bishop takes h6 and queen g6. Okay, that's not going to happen. Okay, so let's take. And now, yeah, I guess I'm going to, to win this, to gain this space. If he allows me to do that, I will, I will take the space. to e6 yeah the knight might come to g5 but I can I can take it if it arrives there is he going to play c5 yeah, maybe yeah let's get out of the c farm hmm I want to recapture with the a pawn so that knight d4 is not possible. Okay, let's get into this pin. Bishop d5 maybe? Bishop d5, yeah protecting my queen and maybe threatening at some point to take e6, take d6 for bishop c5, winning a pawn. That's an idea. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm threatening bishop e6, rook e6, rook d6, rook takes d6, bishop takes d5, and I'm a pawn up. That's a slightly annoying threat now. Okay, so he's getting, he, he got out of that, but now I have b5, right? b5? And I think I'll manage to secure the pawn with c4 or a4. a4 is, of course, the better, the better way to do it. c4 gives up the d4 square. Yeah, that's, that's a very nice position now. <clears throat> Let's see how to continue. Um, mm -hmm. How to do that? I would like to double on the d file. I can I can do this right now, but I want to I want to prevent c4 <clears throat> even as a pawn sacrifice so that he cannot escape. Somehow activate his pieces. The knight on e6 is a very very. Um, passive piece and I just want to double on the d file and then possibly take he can never move the knight to somewhere important as f7 is hanging yeah it's an excellent end game here or well almost end game Okay, I can take now on e6 or bishop c6 is also quite strong. <laughs> yeah, I wonder is this is this a bit too too meek the capture? But it it is strong. What can I do? It, it leads to a very very clear advantage. It looks a bit silly to. To trade, um, to trade the the bishop against the knight, but if it wins, it wins, and this is very close to being a win. Let's see, queen d7, uh, queen d5. I'm sorry. Okay, rook b7. Where are you going? Nowhere, I guess. I mean, can go to d6 or to d8, but oh wait, let's think think for a moment. I can also take e7 for bishop c5. Then he has queen b7 as a possible defense. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, well, come on. This this is a very easy win. Let let's do that. Don't do anything fancy. Picking up the A pawn. Quickest here actually the check and then check. then march the a pawn I guess. Check. Check. Time warning. Check. Check. Not quite, not quite optimally played. <laughs> what I did here, uh, but okay. The pawns, the pawns will ultimately win this thing. It's, 
it's just it's just a bit too much yeah <laughs> but i i lost a couple of moves that uh, that wasn't really necessary at all black forfeits on time yeah but it was a very a very nice position all of a sudden i'm not i'm not totally convinced um about what happened from here i mean this this looks nice but i don't really know i mean c5 is a move I'm going for queen c4 quickly, so maybe he has to play this at some point. But this is a very nice position now. B5 immediately also was was possible. It it got even worse after he had played a5. Yeah, after after I got this in, this is a, this is a fantastic position really. Black is uh, is completely completely tied down. I am. Um, Probably could have won this uh, somewhat somewhat quicker, yeah. Maybe here being a little bit more patient, like c4 or some more improvement moves. But okay, it, it does win. It's just that Check. I made it um, a little bit Check. difficult for Check. myself here. Yeah? Check. Check. But uh, ultimately the pawns will win, even Check. if this was a little bit a little bit strange. <laughs> yeah, the problem here. In general, is if we go back here, here in this kind of position, we we have a structure where black really has to be has to just stay put. He shouldn't really move any of his pawns. I mean, e5 sometimes is possible if I'm forced to trade. Yeah, if I have to trade on e5, it's it's completely symmetrical and very dull. But in the case where I get this in, I will have a situation where he gives me a pass pawn with c5. Oh, this is better for white. He will he can take, which okay here I can even take with the queen. Yeah? Double double attacking him. But this is not a convenient thing. Yeah? Or he can uh, can play as he did knight c5, which leads to a structure where I will probably take and recapture. And this is a weak pawn on c6. This bishop is strong. I have got two bishops in a in a position that is opening up. It's very that's a very inconvenient situation. What he actually has to do is he has to just stay put, like knight f6. Yeah, I, and and just stay. Yeah, he can just shuffle. Yeah, it's not uh, not much fun this position for black because you have very little in terms of activity that you can do. Sometimes you can try like a5, a4, these kind of things. But it's uh, it's very slow, yeah. And what White can do, I can also try to slowly improve. Yeah, I can, I can play a king king g two, and maybe very long term I can try, yeah, to crawl up on the king side. Yeah, preparing this, of course. Yeah, with more more moves, queen over, let's say two e two or something. There are there are very slow plans available for White. It's nothing great, but um, it's a little bit more difficult for Black to play because. Black really can absolutely do nothing, he just has to stay put. Okay, well, thanks for watching.